When many people think about America's early settlers, chances are that their minds turn to the Mayflower landing on Plymouth Rock. But human history on the continent goes back way further than the 1700s. Yes, humanity and North America have been friends for thousands of years longer than you might think. While Christopher Columbus famously visited America in 1492, he most definitely wasn't the first human to step foot here. That honor since the beginning of the 20th century has been given to the Clovis people, a culture that existed in North America around 13,000 years ago. And how do we know this? Well, the archaeological record of the continent has provided evidence of plenty of their existence. So abundant are artifacts from the Clovis era that archaeologists noticed a signature style in the weaponry among them. Amidst the usual tools and detritus left by the inhabitants of an area, distinctive spear points were found during excavations. These prehistoric blades, most likely used for hunting animals, had a delicately shaped, fluted design. Perhaps surprisingly, the existence of the Clovis people was discovered less than a century ago. The finds dug up near Clovis in New Mexico during the 1930s pointed to a hunter-gatherer society that must have been skilled in the use of weapons. That's because the bones of mammoths were sometimes found alongside the spear tips. Subsequent finds of the recognizable spear tips in the eastern half of North America seemed to confirm that the Clovis had been widespread. This abundance of evidence, coupled with an accepted origin date of around 13,000 years ago, meant that the Clovis came to be regarded as America's first ever settlers. So, how did the Clovis people arrive in North America? The generally accepted answer has been on foot, in pursuit of food. During the final days of the last ice age, a frost-free path opened up from modern-day Alaska into Canada and onto the continental United States. The theory goes that as mammoths and other large animals moved south, so did the Clovis. In 1997, however, something happened that challenged the accepted view of early humans in the Americas. At the site known as Monte Verde in Chile, archaeologists found evidence of human habitation from 14,800 years ago, preceding the Clovis by some 1,000 years. This discovery blew the Clovis first theory out of the water. Next, let's take a trip to modern-day America, Texas to be precise. Just about 12 miles outside of Austin, an archaeological dig has been ongoing for more than a decade. The excavations have unearthed a multitude of artifacts, going all the way back to the Clovis area. And then in 2016, the team, including experts from Texas A&M University, found something incredible. The site itself, known locally as Buttermilk Creek, is, as its name suggests, near a body of water. As such, the area was as A&M archaeologist Michael Waters told Science Magazine in 2018, an ideal place to be. Thanks to its steady flow of fresh water, the territory around the creek has been heavily peopled over the millennia, and successive iterations of humanity have each left their mark in the soil there. Down below the expected Clovis artifacts, though, Waters and his colleagues came across something unusual, spear tips that they didn't recognize. The weapons didn't have the usual Clovis fluting, and generally appeared less sophisticated, if no less deadly. Added to that, they were six inches beneath the earliest Clovis items at the site. Had the A&M experts found clues to a pre-Clovis culture? Due to the nature of the soil around the creek, layers of the wet sediment hiding all sorts of archaeological treasures, carbon dating wouldn't work for these objects. Instead, the team used a high-tech method of finding out just how old these weapons are. Known as optically stimulated luminescence, it allows experts to tell when crystals in the ground most recently encountered sunlight, and the results were astonishing. Far from even being in the ballpark of the Clovis area, the spear tips actually appear to be from around 13,500 to 15,500 years old. If confirmed, these finds will be the oldest to be unearthed, not just in the U.S., but also in the whole of North America. If the Monte Verde find had blown the Clovis first theory out of the water, Buttermilk Creek blew it to smithereens. The discovery places humans, possibly also hunter-gatherers, in the continental U.S. about 2,000 years before the Clovis were around. For the archaeological community, though, this is a controversial notion. Why? because the frost-free pathway through North America probably didn't exist back then. 
this of course presents archaeologists with an interesting dilemma before the pathway appeared the continent was basically a massive glacier frigidly cold with little in the way of food it would have been nigh on impossible to survive the journey so how did this unknown community make its way down to Texas no one is quite sure the answer yet but the most popular theory might surprise you current thinking appears to favor what's known as Pacific Coast migration rather than coming directly through the continent early settlers instead made their way down the western coast from there it's possible that communities moved inland culminating much further down the timeline in the Clovis finds in what today are the central and eastern states of the US moreover buttermilk Creek isn't the only site to hold such burial treasures digs in Oregon Florida South Carolina and Virginia have all yielded finds that are thought to be of a similar age but as waters told the Texas A&M website in October 2018 the buttermilk Creek discovery is significant because almost all pre Clovis sites have stone tools but spear points have yet to be found the dream has always been to find projectile points that can be recognized as older than Clovis waters continued and this is what we have at the buttermilk site in total the team found 11 of the objects now named Western stemmed points and at 15,000 some years later they still look pretty deadly of course it's unlikely that one single group of settlers filled the entire continent the peopling of the Americas during the end of the last ice age was a complex process waters told science now we're starting to see this complexity mirrored in the archaeological record at least one archaeologist though urged caution Lauren Davis from Oregon State University told science magazine that testing of pre Clovis artifacts from different sites was needed before celebration could begin due to a large error margin with luminescence dating extra results would be required to nail that date down for others though the buttermilk Creek find represents a new tool for tracing the movements of settlers on the continent this is the kind of research that's going to push the peopling of the new world story forward archaeologist Todd Brage told science and even Davis conceded that the discovery was very very compelling America's complicated history it seems just gets more and more interesting